Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Foley High School alma mater. Foley schools are alma mater to thy praise we'll sing for ideal so lofty o'er us to Good morning, Foley High School. My name is Jordan Drake. And my name is Lexi McGaster. Today is Friday, number 1st, and it's Blue Day. We have some announcements for you today, so listen up. Because this is the, the Live Pride, Pride News. News. Good morning, Foley High School. I'm Jack McCoy, and here are today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Nicolette Houston Turner, Emma Brown, Chloe Amos, Tate Larkin, Stephen Thompson, Jacob Best, and Carlos Gonares. And for Sunday's birthdays, happy birthday to Maya Law, Anna Langston, Hunter Collins, Stephen Stewart, Heaven Barnett, Pierce Morris, Jacoby Caples, and Kaylee Wright. Have a great day and a happy birthday. I'm Lexi Coleman, and the thought of the day today is by Booker T. Washington. Associate yourself with people of good quality, for it is better to be alone than in bad company. Hey Foley High School, Mrs. O'Toole here. I'm here to talk to the students about the United Way campaign that will begin on Monday, Monday through Friday of next week. Students have the opportunity to give to United Way and we're gonna give where you live this year. <laughs> Love that sound, good stuff. So when you donate to United Way, you're actually helping local agencies help members of our very own community. Some of the agencies that receive support from Baldwin County United Way are the Jennifer Claire Moore Foundation, The Shoulder, which helps um, people with substance abuse issues, Family Promise, which helps students and families who are displaced or homeless, also the Sheriff's Ranch. You'll see lots of posters around school that will talk about the different agencies. And by giving lunch, you're helping all of these agencies. Also, Daphne High School has challenged Foley High School this year. Foley High School has won the entire county um, by giving the most money over the last nine years to the Baldwin County United Way. Daphne High School has challenged us this year saying that they're going to beat us. I don't know about you, but I don't like to lose in a competition <laughs> and I really don't like to lose to Daphne. So come on Foley Lions, show everybody what we're made of. Remember, we're gonna support United Way and we're gonna give where we live. The Peer Helpers are hosting a canned food drive to support turkey takeout to help the people in our community have a filling Thanksgiving. It begins on November 4th and ends on November 21st. It will be a competition between freshman and sophomore class and the junior and senior class. The winner receives a trophy and additional prizes. Don't forget, no cans can be out of date. The Foley Police Department is participating in the Aftermath Canine Grant, but they need our votes for support. The link is www.aftermath.com forward slash canine grant. 
Aftermath Services is the premier provider of trauma, cleaning, and biohazard remediation and provides services to families, communities, and businesses after traumatic events. Voting is open until November 3rd. Use the hashtag AftermathK9Grant in your posts on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Are you tired of the vaping in your schools? Do you need a way to express your creativity? Well, the Baldwin County Community Alliance is sponsoring an underage drinking, prescription drug misuse, and e-cigarette prevention campaign. Submit your creative idea for a commercial discouraging middle and high school students' misuse of these substances. Focus should be on the danger and negative effects when youth have easy access to alcohol, prescription drugs, and e-cigarettes. Your commercial can focus on one or all of the above. If it wins, we will produce the commercial and you will be in it. Winners from each school can receive a prize packet as well. The overall winner will be selected out of a winning entry from schools and his and hers commercial will be produced and aired on Fox 10 TV. So please go submit your entry to Miss Beverly in room 100 by November the 15th, which is Friday. Kona Ice! Kona Ice will be here Wednesday. They'll be outside of the 900 Hall office through all lunch waves and then move outside the cafeteria until 315. Prices of cups are $3 for a small, $4 for medium, and $5 for large. The $5 cup will be able to be refilled for $3 for the rest of the year. Juniors interested in participating in the annual Powder Puff Game need to meet in Mrs. K room, room 807, immediately after school this afternoon. Hey seniors, next week is National College Application Week. During the first week of November, the 4th through the 8th, many colleges and universities will be waiving their application fees for one week only. You can find this on your Google Classroom. Every senior will get their chance to apply to the college, so during this week, we'll invite each senior by their homeroom to the library to fill out a college application. The counseling department and career coach will be available to assist you at this time with your applications. It costs nothing for you to apply, and community college applications are always free. Please take advantage of this opportunity. There will be more details to come, so stay tuned. And also, please reach out to your career coach, Ms. Baxter, if you have any questions. Thank you. I'm Michael Bingard, and this is the Locker Room Report. Today in sports, good luck to the cross-country teams in their sectional tournaments today at Langen Park in Mobile. Their meet was changed from yesterday because of the weather. Baseball trials will begin Monday at 5 p.m. Any boys interested in trying out for the baseball team need to see Coach Bowden in room 502 to pick up a tryout information packet. This packet must be completed and returned prior to the baseball tryouts. Any boys interested in playing soccer, the trials will be in November 12th, 13th, and the 14th after school at the fields on Highway 98 beginning at 3.30 p.m. each day. All paperwork for tryouts needs to be turned into Coach Corals in room 309. And finally, any girls interested in playing soccer need to pick up an athletic packet from Coach Hammock's doorway of room 205. New time on the tryouts will be Monday at the track field from 3.30 to 5 p.m. And that's all from the Locker Room Report. Today for lunch we have buffalo chicken sliders, garden salad, straight cut fries, chocolate chip cookie, fruit and juice, and for a faster lunch we're having cheeseburger, cheese pizza, French fries, fruit and juice, and don't forget your garden. Have a great day full of high school. All right, well, that's all the announcements we have for you today on our Daily Line Pride News. Don't forget today is Blue Day. Our shout outs go to Megan Mosley and Tyler Sutton. Just a friendly reminder Daylight Saving Time starts back tomorrow. So set your clocks back an hour. Have a great day, Foley High School.